Just got some extra decals for um, Ratchet. This is the one that's going to go on that car face number plate. These are all reflective. Minus I don't just maybe must have thrown that sticker in as an extra. But um, this is what I got for the car because they're always handy to have. This is a 12 volt tire air compressor in the shape of an Autobot. So it's got its um, gauge up the very top. Lights up when it's on. So yeah, I'll just uh, open it up. Okay, so I unboxed it. Just turn on that light for a second. So it's got like LED lights, as eyes. But I didn't realize like when I bought this, I was buying it for Autobot. But on the flip side, it's got the Decepticon. So yeah, it's interesting. I'm going to probably um, pull it apart and paint it. It's a bit dull for my liking. But, um, but I'm pretty happy with that. It looks good. Even as it's just a cosmetic feature, it looks good. And there's your gauge. And your on and off switch. So even that feels that feels a bit cheap actually. And um, it also came with your uh, very, oh, they look a bit like obviously fuses, but um yeah maybe bike bike ones or yeah. Those pointy looking things. Anyway. And um just seeing where the end of that wire goes. I'll pull it apart a little bit more and see what happens. Okay, so shoved in the side there was your battery your car battery wire. Now I'll most likely um extend this by a lot more so I can have this I want to probably mount it in in the car and then extend this by a lot so it powers up so I might even put this to the solar panel battery or something like that or something anyway I'll work that out and um, yeah, there's your tire one which is around the edges of it yeah that looks all right oh yeah uh, maybe I won't be able to mount it because obviously you need this close to the head to use it. But I definitely can extend that if I need to. Ah, looks good. Be interesting to see that light up. Okay, so um, I've just come out to the car for a second and plugged it into the cigarette lighter. And I'll hit the switch. So that's obviously the pump, and the switch goes the other way. It's pretty effective. Would have been, I would have liked it better if, um, when you put the power on, that that activates the LED lights. I may have to uh, see if I can muck around with this and um, without killing the lights because that could be still um, a, a lower voltage than the 12 so it could be still a step down to the 5 volt but um, when you turn that on that should activate that should activate your lights what are you going to I mean if you think the pract practicality if you went out and went to pump your tyre up you're not going to leave this next to your tyre with the light on when you're using it, that light should come on. But anyway, that works, so they'll get a positive feedback on that um, on eBay. Anyway, what I bought air compressor pump. Okay, I've got a few things on this table at the moment. Um, I've opened that up, and um, so you got there obviously the lights, the LED lights for the Decepticon on that side. And the audio bot is face down. This is obviously your air pump. And this was very loose, um, this switch. I don't like how loose that was. Um, but I am going to be doing another custom job on this one. Um, I personally didn't like 
the Decepticon on my Autobot face. I thought I I um, ordered just an Autobot face. At best, it should have been Autobot on both sides. So I'm going to be removing these clear lenses, and I'm going to be sanding this back, and I'm going to fill all these bumps and lumps with some body filler and smooth it all out so it's going to be smooth on one side and an Autobot face on the other. The other thing I'm probably going to do is work out how I can, when the pump goes on, the LED lights light up. So whether or not I put a step down converter onto the LED lights so they don't burn out, I think that's the way to go. And just put this on for an on and off switch up the top, I might change that in some way. So that's the workings inside of one of these air compressor pumps. Okay, so I pulled that apart and there's the Decepticon face, which it shouldn't have. And this is the Autobot face. I pulled the lights out, so I'm gonna get that ready for paint. There's all the pump and everything. This switch is gonna, I don't know whether I change it or work out the wiring so it can pair up those lights at the same time as not blowing um, blowing them up. And that's the Autobot um, eyes in a bag safe. And I'm gonna put this in a primer for plastic and uh, get her ready for a top coat. Okay, so this is the Autobot face. This, I've already done one coat of red. You can see the gleam on the second coat. See if I can do a bit of spraying with on this on the camera. How much better does that look like already in the red? Coming on good. Right. Okay, so I've um, finished off the Autobot face in the, the top coat red gloss. So you can see the sort of um, the brown that they come out with. I haven't done the body filling on this one yet, I have, obviously. Um, but the red stands out just that little bit more. And the gloss to the shine to a dull brown colour. So I'll be getting into the body filling of the Decepticon face to cover that over soon. Okay, so the Decepticon's face is now more or less been erased, <laughs> erased from existence. So that's the body filler on the back which I'll let harden because this is beautiful Melbourne rainy weather. So let that harden up in the in the shed. And um, when it dries up, get into the sanding. Okay, so I'm just about to um, sand the underneath of the Transformers um, tire pump. This was the Decepticon's face. You can see the body filler through there. I will sand it down, get it even. Even Steven. Okay, so I've knocked it down with some uh, P40. It's coming up well. And uh, I'm just going to use that P240 just to smooth it out a lot more. Okay, so this is the, the Autobot face sanded down with some 240. See a little bit of the Decepticon coming through, but it's not higher, so it's been sanded down. But everything's uh, pretty smooth. I did block these off with, um, with some tape over the top, so... They should just pop out because that's where the bolt holes go for screwing it together. 
but we'll get into some undercoat. Okay, so just a, a wax and grease removed, and now it's um, got some plastic primer on it. So, yeah, she's uh, not 100% perfect, but um, it's good enough for what I want, and uh, next will be the top coat. Okay, this is a uh, top coat done. So these are the two holes that uh, I had covered over earlier. That screws it together. It's not perfect, but um, I'm happy with the results. It's only going to be a, um, a tire pumper-upper. But um, yeah, I'm just going to clean that later on. But um, she's got a few little pit holes, but nothing to stress about. A little bit of slight damage there, but... Or well, not damage, but it's body filler. But I'm happy with it. That's going to look much better. I'll let that dry some more. That's it. So this is what I plan to do. Um, I got these switches today, which have they look very similar to the the three prong switch that this came with. But the difference was. That one way it powered on the air pump, and the other one was the LED lights on the the eyes. So what I did is got a very similar switch. This one glows blue, but it's only on and off. So I want to make the air pump turn on, also power up with the LED. It's sort of like a little spongy looking LED one this one just with this stuff here and I've got a step down um, that's a 12 to a 5 volt um, step down so I'm going to do that um, might not need it but I'm going to do the LED lights in the 12 to 5 and um, the main power so the wires that go off this main switch will also power on those LEDs so if I take this off for a second so the the light LEDs they'll have the 5 volts going onto them and um, also the 12 volt to power it up for the car for the for this thing so um, the cigarette lighter input so um yeah i've put this partly together but um these switches only came today so see if i can wire this up and um see the difference between a glow a single just on and off and to have that pump come on with um the LED lights as a single rather than a separate element with the extra step down converter. I'll show you how I wire that up um, once it's done. Okay, so what I've just done now is I've trimmed out this section because what was happening, say this is the old switch, just for example, this is just another one, um, where it was. It was just soldered wire onto each one so they could run that easy but because I've got the proper terminals on there that oh, that moves that sits more solid coming down so it needs that gap to um, sit in all right keep going I had to do a couple extra mods because um, I didn't like how the air hose was going up and then it was actually inside the unit being squashed and then it came up the very top here so I've made a, a hole in one side so the pump hose comes just so it doesn't have any kinks and stuff like that in it as it travels and the wiring I've uh, yeah so I cut those sections just there and there and I've done a bit of an edge there so I can move wiring there um, I also did an edge cut in here so this wire can just go through without sitting on the edge and another hole on the other side to run the battery and negative uh, positive and negative uh, clamps 
So yeah, I'll now put that all together, push all the wires in, and uh, do another vid. Okay, so um, I've just put some tape in there, hold those wires down the edges, and uh, everything's got nice, easy access and to um, to be able to work properly. I even uh, put this in the position where you look at the head, that actual uh, dial or gauge is uh, facing the person with the eyes looking at them, so it's good. Okay, so she's finished. Finally, and um, I'm very happy with the results of um, just giving it some mods. So this just shows you as well that when you buy something, if you, if you want to tweak something or change it around and like make it yours, it's possible. Um, I also like that I put the Tiger Clips, I think that's what they're called, for the battery. Um, that also helps be able to use this without just having a cigarette lighter option. So I can stick that just on a battery by itself outside somewhere. Um, as you can see, the in-between um, is a lot tighter. If you look at the very start of the video from what it was, this is the, I haven't seen if this really works, the LED switch yet, but I wanted it just on and off anyway. That would be a luxury if that worked. I'm going to test it outside in a second. And, um, yeah, and I've uh, put a uh, reflective Autobot sticker on the back. Just changes it up a little bit. But, um, yeah, you can see like a couple of wires. I might do something like Freud in the future. That's where... You, well, that hose would be um, shoved in. But now, it's got the hose just separate like that. And I'm happy with that. That also gives it a nice even air pressure coming out rather than be squashed inside. And it's red like it looked on the box. So I'll get that box or the picture for it. So that's the... That's the picture, and it looks red, but when I got it, it was brown. So now she actually suits the picture. And um, let's do a video of um, it running on the car. I'm not going to put it into the tyre. I think I need a, a different um, end for the actual tyre. I think there's... I don't think that's the right one for a car tire, but anyway, I'll see see how that goes anyway. But for now, I'm going to go out now and stick it on the car, and with one click of the switch, the light should come on, and that should activate and be all one. I didn't have to I didn't have to um, put that step down um, volt change. I think it'll be fine. It went with the 12 volts anyway, so. If it blows, it blows. I can always open it up and fix it. But for now, I'm sure the lights will turn on and the pump will turn on and um, she'll be how I wanted it rather than have the lights on and no pump or pump and uh, no lights. So let's see how we go. Okay, so I've connected it to the, the battery. She's all ready to go. See how we go. So. So. so that's more practical. That works and lights up at the same time. Not sure if that light works. Let's see if we can get a close up. Not sure if that light works. But that's it. Done.